What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trinkshire Repair channel. As always, I'm Dan, and today's video is gonna be a short, snappy tutorial on the top three ways to tie your shoelaces so that they're going to look more elegant and smarter and stay up tighter for longer. Keep watching, see what it's all about. So once again, welcome back guys. Thanks for joining me, hope you're doing well. I'm back from holiday. As you can tell from my radiant complexion, I had a wonderful relaxing time. So talking about the video, as I say, it's gonna be a short snappy tutorial on tying your shoelaces. And there's a whole bunch of ways you can tie shoelaces, but these are regarded the top three knots, best ways to do shoelaces when we're talking about smart dress shoes. So we're gonna be talking about what we'll call the regular knot, the Parisian knot, and the Baluti knot. I'm gonna show you how to tie them all. So let's get started. Okay, ladies and gents, so let's get started. So I'm just using my own John Love Darbies here. And first thing we need is some new laces. So I'm using some waxed laces. And of course we need to lace them before we can tie them. So I'm just going to bar lace them or ladder lace them. And the next video, I think I will do on different ways of lacing your shoes. So there's our ladder lace. I should have put a shoe tree in actually. It's easier to lace shoes once there's a tree in it. But uh, anyway. We're going to start with the basic knot or the regular knot. This is your bread and butter. This is what we all learned when we were kids or in school. So you know the drill. We're going to start with a single knot, left lace over right. So we're going to take our left lace, pinch it in place and create a loop or a bunny ear. And then take our right lace and wrap it around the loop clockwise, leaving enough space so that there is a hole or a gap here and then push that same lace through there to grab what is going to be the beginning of a second loop and then pull both the loops and there we have your regular knot. The problem with this and the main problem is that it comes undone very easily as you're walking along. Also I will say guys I've put light tan wax laces in there just so you can see everything better. Personally these should have some uh, darker laces in my opinion. All right, so next up, we've got the Parisian knot straight out of Paris. And this is the knot that has that very distinctive double vertical lace, if you can see just there. So the advantage is it just looks more elegant. It sits flatter, but it also stays done up a lot tighter. Something interesting, we have the uh, 1925 Saphir cream comes in a color called Parisian brown. So you've got the Parisian brown, you've got the Parisian shoes. Parisian knot, let me show you how to tie it. So just how do we do the Parisian knot? I hear you guys scream in excitement. Now, it is a double knot, but the first step is the same. Left over right to create your single knot. Now, a good trick is to try and keep everything tight while you're doing this if you want it to look nice at the end. So create your loop or your bunny ear. Right lace goes clockwise around. Now, with the regular knot, you would just be passing through that area there. But with the Parisian knot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop around the bunny ear twice. When you do that, what you've done is you've created a new hole there for your right lace to go through. So pop your right lace through to become your second bunny ear and then pull them tight. Okay, and that is your Parisian knot. You can see the two distinct vertical lines of the lace. Now the benefit is it just looks more elegant, it's nicer and it will stay done up tighter. But to undo it, just pull the, pull the little ends. <laughs> um, you're gonna wanna play around a bit with the lace length and you can get a bit OCD with just getting those um, beautiful vertical lines. Sometimes it'll be a bit offset, but play around with it, see what works for you and have some fun. Next contender is the Berluti knot. And I can just give you a look there. It's a much more robust knot created by Olga Berluti from Berluti Shoes. They actually have a, a very cool range of stuff. They do a lot of sneakers and trainers that I'm a big fan of. The advantage to this knot is it is the strongest of the double knots. It will not come undone unless you want it to. And it lies even flatter than the Parisian knot. The catch is it can be quite tricky to tie. So you're gonna have to practice it a little bit, but let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here we go for the Baluti knot. Now I will preface this section by saying it is a difficult knot to tie and if you have anger management issues, do not attempt this knot. 
Okay, so you're gonna start with a single knot. There's actually a double knot because we're gonna go left over right, but twice. Okay, pull it down. So you see you're getting a little bit of rope action there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a bunny ear, this side, and a bunny ear, this side. And try and get them equal lengths. Once you've got them equal lengths, you're gonna go right over left, and then pinch your bunny ears in the middle with your left hand. Now, first step is to get all of this right bunch and to bring it forwards and pass it through this existing hole. I like to do it one at a time. So single lace through, and then bunny ear through. Some people like to do it all at the same time. I find this way a little easier. Keep everything tight. And then same principle for the left hand bunch, but from the back. So, bunny ear through to the front, pull it through, single lace through from the back to the front. Pull everything tight, but not tying the knot. And then if you just grab the loops, you can see all that stuff ready to be tied up. And you pull your loops, pull them tight, and then you have the Boluti knot. And that is not coming undone, no matter how far you walk. And you can see it's similar to the Parisian knot with the two vertical loops, and then you've got this whole mess of knotting under there. But to undo it, it's exactly the same as anything else. Pull the two ends, ta-da! So this one does take some practice, but uh, it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. So that is the video, guys. Those are my three favorite knots, and I won't waffle too long because I know you guys will be excited to go and try tying them. I know I was when I first learned them. In fact, I want to give a shout out to Kirby Allison from The Hanger Project because I learned how to tie the Berluti knot from his channel and his YouTube videos. So shout out to Kirby. And yeah, so try them out, practice, experiment, have some fun with it. The way you tie your shoelace is a small detail to your wardrobe that most people won't notice, but you'll know how you've tied your shoelaces and it can just be a nice little start to your day and the way that you dress yourself. So again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like these sort of tutorials and I can throw more stuff together to put on the channel. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you're kept in the loop when I upload new videos. And remember, if you want to talk to us about a shoe repair, get in touch via the website dreamshoerepairs.com, which is also our online shop where we sell all of the Saphir products, polishes, creams, brushes, to keep your shoes looking mint condition. But well, that's it. I'm going to love you and leave you. Have fun tying your shoelaces and I'll catch you next time. Take our right lace, wrap it clockwise. Clockwise, same principle. Grab the two bunny ears and cinch them down. And it doesn't work. Oh.